That was Bollywood from Liz Fair's new album, Fun Style, which was available on her website back in July and now is coming out as a CD, courtesy of Rocket Science Ventures, on October 19th. And I am telling you, and I'm going to be telling Liz Fair this too, this is just an amazing record. And Liz, Liz is with us uh, this evening. And Liz, this is going to be one of the most unusual interviews that you've ever done because this is just going to be me raving about how much I love the album Fun Style. Awesome. <laughs> this this is going to be so easy for you. You won't have to do it. And in fact, why even have you on? I should have just went on the year. I already did this, actually. Went on the year and talked about it. This is the album of the year, as far as I'm concerned. Awesome. God and, bless you. <laughs> I love this record. And while I like all your stuff, an album, to me, has two missions, right? It's got to have good tunes, and it's also got to be interesting. And Fun Style succeeds on both counts in my book. Thank you. I kind of thought it was new and different, too, and I, I guess that's shocked a lot of people, but, but, you know, I, I remember saying a year ago, I'm like, I want my record to be one of those things where when you hear it, it's unmistakably that record, and I was like, oh, that's the, that's the new Liz Fair one, because it sounds like nothing else, and I really wanted that, and at the same time, those songs had to be things that meant enough to me to last. Well, you know, it's an album that holds up with repeated listens. I've listened to it like a dozen times. You could just throw out song titles. I could probably sing it back to you, you know. <laughs> but um, when you sat down to do this, because you've got songs on there that are obviously funny, where you've got, you know, you're doing sketches almost in the middle of yeah. songs. Um, was that something that you had in mind when you sat down to do this, that you just I'm gonna I'm just going to try and do something kind of silly? Or is that just what happened? You know where it came from, and it's so funny because I'm relearning this. Like, music is a process, and mm. it's a way for me as an artist to digest and um, remark upon the experiences I'm having in life. It's always been that for me. It's sort of the way, it's one of my, I guess I have six senses. You know, it's one of the ways in which I encounter the world, music. It comes into me. I, you know, it enters my cellular level and then I spit it back out. And it's just a way that I interact with the world. And one of the things I've been doing the last couple of years, I've been doing composition for television shows. I've been doing scoring and sitting. I don't know if you know anything about that profession, but it was new to me. And it's like a very intensive, it's like writing 22 mini songs a week. Right. And, you know, maybe more if they don't like what you've put in there. And it's all very emotional, like, as you put music behind each scene, you really have to dig for what melodies um, will convey that, will make a listener or a viewer, like, feel what they need to feel in that scene. And so we would be in the studio, you know, cramming this stuff, and we would get slap happy, and we would do, just to blow off steam sort of goof cues mm -hmm. that obviously wouldn't make it back to the client. But, right. you know, we would be in hysterics, like rolling on the ground laughing. And because you work so fast and because Evan Frankfurt, my partner, is so talented, you can really put up storyscapes at lightning speed, like we can do anything. And it just, the technology and that way of working opened up this whole creative medium for me that unleashed something in me that had been lurking there since girly sound you know which i was trying to do on my four track right where i mashed up songs i rewrote classics i you know would do funny voices and story stuff and i suddenly had like a, a much bigger car to drive in that sense and i just i took it and we couldn't stop and we called it fun style you've gone through this and you're probably going to have to continue going through this story uh, over and over again, but you brought this to the label that you were currently, or you, that you were at the time uh, signed to. They didn't want to release it, or they wanted you to change it. Well, it it was a little bit um, slightly different than that. It was, okay. I mean, the real shocker was when I played it for my management, and I thought it was, you know, it was Bollywood. I don't know what I was thinking that I had done. It, it had surprised me as well, and I had been. That song had been percolating in my mind for a long time because I was so pissed um, 
not allowed to name at whom, but like I was pretty pissed about stuff in the industry. And I'd been wanting to write this song and I'd wanted to make it. I don't know what I wanted to make it. And I did this spontaneously one day with Evan. I thought it was so funny and I brought it to my management. I, I don't know what I expected. Like maybe they'd be like, ha ha, that was cool, that's neat. Or I think what I hoped was that they'd be like, you're on to something. This is a totally new art form, right. you know? And they were icy. They were just absolutely appalled. And I think in retrospect, there may have been some part of their business that was tied up in the business that I was slamming. Right, right, in the lyrics. There may have been some, like, monetary interest that was threatened, but it was just absolutely, Liz, this is the biggest mistake of your career. You can't play this for anyone. If this ever gets out there, it will ruin you. Blah, blah, blah. Like, they were dead. And I'm like, I remember sitting in the car going, like, are you, are you kidding? Like, and they were not kidding. And I was trying. My wheels are spinning. I'm like, what the hell? You know, like, what is going on? And it it came down to a second conversation where it was just like, if you choose to do this, we can't work with you. And I didn't know what I was going to do at that point because I just, I thought, I I don't know, I just wasn't ready to say, I wasn't ready to be cowed in that way, in that mm-hmm. manner, over music. And I remember just saying, well, I can't promise you, you know, I'm not going to do anything with it, so I guess, you know, we're going to have to part company. And it was a big deal. We'd worked closely together for a long time, and I was petrified to be suddenly without management. You know, they take care of a lot of stuff for you. Sure. And, you know, I waited. And then, you know, when I played some of this stuff for my record company and some other stuff I was making, they just they were not into it. They were not feeling it. Sort of the same thing, like, what the hell is she doing? But I knew I was kind of onto something really new and really great. And as an artist, no matter what people's reaction is, I mean, it's, it's a classic problem. Like, there's something in you as an artist that just kind of knows mm-hmm. that something is the direction you need to follow. You just kind of know. When something's got the goods, it's got the goods. And I just had to kind of sit there for about a year and a half, no, like a year, 13 months, where I didn't do anything with this stuff. I made some more because I loved it. I couldn't stop what I was doing. And but I didn't play it for anyone. And all the labels I was speaking to were really only interested in, like, another guy, though. Right. And it came down to this moment where I sat there with Evan. I'm like, should we just do it as if it's a gig, like they're a client, and just not fake it, but, you know, right. do just what they want? You know, because by then we knew how to make stuff to sound the way someone wanted it to sound. And I was sort of prepared to do that. And I'd spoken to my lawyer, and I'm like, yeah, I could do that. And I have some great songs that would work that way, a nice mature production, the whole thing. And something just snapped in me. It's, it's you know, that part of me that's just anti-authoritarian or something. <laughs> and I just I felt it building up, and I was like, I love it. I think it's hilarious. And so I called up my lawyer. I'm like, I need to put this out in, like, four days by... Independence Day. I want to put it out on the 4th of July and declare my independence. <laughs> and he found Rocket Science, you know, who had gotten in touch with him before that, and he was like, yeah, they'll do it. And it came out on July 4th. Yeah, because I got it immediately from your website. Actually, maybe a couple of weeks afterwards, I'd, I'd started reading about it online. And, you know, you're one of these artists that, for whatever reason... I don't even think you intentionally do it, but you seem to provoke these extreme reactions from, you know, from critics or from fans. And sometimes I just have to shake my head and wonder why everybody's hyperventilating. (laughs) You know, it's like it's like just have fun with it. You know, the album's called Fun Style. I mean, she's telling you right up front that, you know, we're going to have fun. You're going to put this record on and you're going to enjoy yourself. And what is the what is the problem? I don't get it either. I've really tried really hard to wrap my head around it. The I don't know. I yeah. think to some extent, music for a certain sec- sec- sector of the public, a certain section of music fans, has to do with how that music makes them feel about themselves, whether it ties in with their ideal identity. You know what I mean? And for me, music is about a sort of a pure sense of music, 
You know, what, what can you create? What has right. just come into being that was never there before? And I think it's different for a lot of people. I think some people feel that the music they like defines them in a certain way. And if someone they like or want to like as an artist or wants to continue on with as a fan does something that flies in the face of that, you know, that undercuts their sense of themselves, it's very upsetting. (laughs) You know, they have to distance themselves at lightning speed because they're kind of wrapped up in the club of cool. And it's, but in, in a lot of times, I think what I do gets done five or six years later with no kerfuffle whatsoever by another artist. Right. Because it's sort of like, I think I chase what hasn't been heard before, what is, you know what I mean? I, I'm, I'm chasing after that stuff. And I don't know, maybe that sounds too egocentric, you know, ego. No, you know, listen, I, it's... It, the only other artist, well, I mean, I'm sure there, there's there's lots of them actually that go through the same sort of thing. But Bob Dylan, for example, was was somebody that everybody had a preconceived notion of what Bob Dylan was, and then Dylan changes gears and you know he puts out a record that's straight up country. And then with the passage of time, it it became a thing where people start to expect Dylan to confound them, you know, to not deliver exactly what they expect him to deliver and maybe that's maybe that'll that's going to eventually happen to you well it would be nice <laughs> i mean it would be nice because i'm not trying to confound anyone i mean you're absolutely right there's no way that i'm ever trying to upset people in 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 the way that i'm perceived to be trying to upset them you know i'm really just trying to follow i've been a lifelong creative junkie like that's what i do that's what i live for making things creating things out of thin air is what i live for and it doesn't even matter the medium like creation to me is the main theme of my life i almost wanted to write a book called like dreaming for a living you know because that's what i do i dream stuff up and then i make it manifest and that's my drug and I think when you do that, it's a lot different than a band that has a certain tradition that they have a lot of reverence for and they want to be considered part of a tradition. I'm trying to escape tradition and right. explore. 